guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin for those of you that are new here and if you're not, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here today. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of drills to practice inversions in your vinyasa. Two drills that I'll be showing are from a downward facing dog. We hop forward into that tuck hop shape and then we land in a standing forward fold. The second drill that we work through is from standing forward fold at the top of your mat. You hop your hips up into that tuck like shape and then you jump back into your chaturanga. That's our landing point. So if you're curious how you can incorporate more inversion like drills into your practice, then just keep watching. From personal experience, I can say that when I started to incorporate this repetition of tuck hops, I got a lot stronger in my practice and a lot stronger in my inversion game. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Yeah, let's get started. So first, just giving a little love to your lacy, fixing your mat. And we'll start in a tabletop. Adjust your shoulders to stack above your wrists, your hips above your knees. A little spread in the fingers without strain and gently navigating through your cat-cow tilt. Inhale brings you into cow pose and exhale into cat pose. Noticing any areas of tightness or resistance running through the back line of your body, your shoulder blades, the shoulders. And then gradually becoming a little more courageous in these movements. Finding a little more range and motion through your spine. And then you might choose to stay right here with the traditional cat-cow tilting or invite a deeper back bend. It might inhale and bring you into a cobra or up dog. The exhale presses you back into either embryo pose, which is knees together, or child pose, knees wide. Keeping that same fluidity, inhale, back bend of choice. Exhale, pressing it back. Inhale, heart opens, shoulders back. Exhale, forward fold, whether that's child or embryo pose. Your rhythm, your pace, just keeping it smooth. You might stick with your upward facing dog or bend into your right knee, guide your right foot to the left, big inhale, wild thing. Let the front line of your body deeply open and with an exhale, close it off. Meeting back and up dog. Bend into your left knee, guide sole of left foot over to the right, big inhale, wild thing. That transition feels really nice and then closing it off, finding upward dog or lower to the belly into your cobra. We'll start to bring some awareness in the wrist through your tabletop flip so the back of your right hand presses into your mat. If it is stable and safe, do both hands at the same time. Back of your left hand to your mat, all 10 fingers pointing towards your kneecaps. You can wiggle the fingers, an option to shift the hips back, which will invite a little more sensation. We counter that flip so the palms of the hands are into your yoga mat, all 10 fingers still pointing towards knees and then pulsing the hips back towards the heels. Allow the sensation to travel up through the wrists, forearms, possibly into the neck and the traps. Then kickstand all 10 fingers, hollowing out through the centers of the palms. You might choose to stay on the knees or extend one leg back or both legs back. Strengthening through the wrists immensely. Get nice and tight through the legs, lifting your kneecaps into your thighs. If it helps the hold, squeeze your glutes and draw your navel in and up towards your spine. Steady the gaze, feel that your neck is long. And then dropping down to the knees, meeting in a seat. Extend your right arm forward, flip so the right palm faces away from you. And with your left hand, grab all five right fingers, keeping your right wrist in line with your right shoulder, option to begin to bend your right elbow. Then release the four fingers, pull your right thumb back. Switching it out, extend your left arm long, pull five left fingers back towards the body. And remember keeping left wrist in line with left shoulder, option to bend your left elbow and without forgetting about your left thumb. Reaching the arms up, your right hand catches your left wrist, big side body stretch, left hand catches the right wrist, side body stretch. 
extend your arms up, flip your hands away from you, and interlace your fingers down to the webbing. Just a little free flow of movement, sway the hips to the right and to the left and right and to the left. Switch it out, opposite arm is in front. You have a big interlace of the fingers down to webbing, free flow, working through side body sensations. And take a comfortable seat. For me, I'm in Virasana. If you prefer Sukhasana, go for it. And start to warm up through the shoulders. Extend your arms long, straight elbows. Think muscle to bone. And squeezing your shoulder blades in. Start small. And then reverse the direction. So notice the difference. Shoulder blades away, shoulder blades squeeze in. Keeping that retraction of the shoulder blades top to bottom. Elbow straight, strong through ten fingers. And some medium circles going forward and then reversing the medium shoulder circles. Large shoulder circles starting in one direction and then switch it out opposite direction, keeping that retraction of the shoulder blades and wash it away. Shake it out as if the hands were wet. First downward facing dog, get high on the hips, long on your spine. You can hold static or work through the feet. High through one heel, low on the other. Little pulsing. I like to point the toes, curl the toes under. That's a nice lengthening for the tops of the feet and through ankles into shins. And moving on into our first drill, you shorten the stance, bring your big toes in together. Inhale, lift your heels high. Exhale, bend your knees, take them wide, take them low. Let's do that a couple more times, get comfortable. Inhale, high heels, exhale, bend your knees. Hold for the inhale and with your exhale, down dog. Transition into your dolphin. Next drill, when you breathe in, hold, that's your prep. And when you breathe out, dolphin pose. Bend your elbows, guide forearms to the mat at the same time. Hold for the inhale, that's your prep. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Exhale, dolphin pose. Conscious breathing, smooth and steady. And we'll take some rest. You decide it might be a puppy pose. For me, it's a child pose. And I'm bringing palms together. Resting thumbs at the nape of the neck or palms can rest on the shoulder blades. Lengthening your triceps. A couple of wrist rotations. Imagine there was water on the fingers and you're trying to flick the water away. Meeting in downward facing dog. So we'll layer on that initial shape. Shorten your stance, big toes together. Inhale, high heels. Exhale, bend your knees, take them low. And with your inhale, here's your first tuck hop. It does not have to be this high. The hips very well might stay a lot lower. With your inhale, you want to think high hips, hips over the shoulders, shoulders over the wrists. <laughs> and then you might topple over, which is fine. Just be careful of where you are doing these drills. If you're super nervous to do this in the middle of the room, I fully respect that. Know that you can have a couch behind you like I do here in the video, or you can take this drill up against a wall. The inhale lifts your heels high. Exhale, bend your knees, take them wide, take them low. And then with your inhale, hop, hips over shoulders, shoulders over the wrists. A little key point, focusing on the shoulders, the traps. This is the shape that you want. Shoulders high, high, high into your earlobes. What you don't want is the shoulders down. This is your no, and this is your yes. So that's your focus, keeping the traps and the shoulders up into your ears. Think pressing your hands through the floor and make sure that your gaze when you do this is in between your thumbs. The head is not heavy, the gaze is in between your thumbs. Here's a little prop that can support the drill. Take a little rag or a towel, washcloth in between the toes and this will encourage the big toes to stay together. It's a lot more challenging but it's incredible for building the patience and the strength. Remember that it's the inhale that hops you up. Hips over shoulders, shoulders over wrists until fail, and then take rest in between. The 
moving right along back into our downward facing dog and our standing forward fold. Inhale, high heels, exhale, bend your knees. Inhale, the hips are high and exhale back into downward facing dog. And when the control becomes a little more comfortable, instead of jumping back into your downward facing dog, you would control the feet so that they land in Uttanasana, standing forward bend, toes towards the wrist creases. Take your time and be patient with that work. So now here's the second expression when you're incorporating this inversion, this tuck hop in your vinyasa from Uttanasana, standing forward bend. Your hands would touch down to the mat. The inhale, hop your hips up. Maybe you catch a little bit of flight, a little bit of air, and with the exhale, you can either come back down to Uttanasana, standing forward bend, or the exhale can shoot you right back into your chaturanga shape, lowering halfway down, there we are, and squeezing the elbows into the side bodies. And the first couple times that you do that, you very well might belly flop, and that's totally normal. Be patient. Have a light heart when you are beginning to incorporate inversions in your yoga practice. Inhale, high heels, exhale, knees bend, and the inhale, there's your tuck, the exhale, there's your fold. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale, fold. Inhale, upward arms, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and here's another chance to practice. Inhale, hops your hips up, little hang time. You can separate the legs. I prefer the landing backwards, but again, that's personal preference. I find it to be a lot more jarring when I land with both legs at the same time. But again, this is just years of exploring what feels good in my body and what works. The benefit of these drills, not only can practice them at home, but you can also incorporate them in classroom settings. Every time your teacher cues to vinyasa through, you can do these little tuck hop shapes. The inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, the hands plant. You can walk the feet back a little bit as I did there. The inhale, hop up. Whoa. And be comfortable with the uncertainty. Sometimes, a lot of the times, you will topple over. Be really sensitive to the wrists as you do start to invert and bear your body weight on them. Stretch them out and take breaks as often as necessary. And the inhale up. Exhale lower. Inhale up. Split the legs and exhale chaturanga right into your back bend of choice. Big toes touch. Inhale high heels. Exhale knees bend. Inhale hop the hips. Exhale land the feet. And just to round it out, bringing your practice full circle, giving your little kitties, your pups, some love. And one last thing before we close out the video. When you are beginning to jump up from your standing forward fold and the flow would be to catch yourself in chaturanga, you always want to land with a bent elbow. You are not landing with a lock in the elbows. That's your no. The yes is to there it is, land with a deep bend in the elbows, that full expression of Chaturanga Dandasana, four-limbed staff pose. And that's strictly for the safety of your joints, wrists, elbows, rotators, shoulders, all that good stuff. This way the repetition is sustainable and you can incorporate this in the practice, landing with a deep bend in the elbows on your exhale. Let's make your way to a seat. If you're following along this entire time, let's just wash it away with some mellow, gentle stretches. Sukhasana, easy seat. Your right hand catches your left knee. With the inhale, reach the left arm up and over. Rotate the left wrist and then left hand to the right knee. Circle the right arm up and over. Deep breathings into right ribs. Switch out the cross of Sukhasana legs. Inhale, upward arms and exhale, right hand to the left knee. Twisting, revolving the ribs and the heart. Inhale, upward arms, and exhale, twist over to the left, left hand, right knee. And from your comfortable seat, bring the palms together, resting thumbs at the breastbone. May we move through this day with kind action. Bringing thumbs to the lips, may we move through this day with kind speech. 
thumbs to the third eye. May we move through this day with kind thoughts. With so much love and gratitude to each and every one of you, we close the practice with collective bow. Namaste. Thank you everybody for watching. Again, my name is Caitlin and it was my pleasure to guide you through.